this is Steve Robbins. Welcome to the Get It Done Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Work Less and Do More. Today's topic is on the most devious form of distraction and how to blast through it and keep laser-like focus, or what passes for laser-like focus in the 21st century. Before we start today, a big thank you to listener Keiko and her English language study group. They pointed out that I misspoke in my episode on the basics of good goal setting. My subtle reference to Lady Macbeth was attributed to Hamlet rather than Macbeth. Yes, Hamlet was a bit of a playboy, but no, he was not secretly romancing Lady Macbeth. Thank you so much, Keiko. Yay, it's the internet! I just love the internet. No, no, I don't. I hate the internet. Every time I try to get something productive done, something on the internet drags my attention away. Oh, look, a politician tweeted something! Bitcoin is now worth more than Google. Here's an awesome picture of a black hole formed by two colliding galaxies. Sick. Clickbait is easy to recognize. Now, we all know that you never, ever click on pictures of adorable, cute, fuzzy little kittens or sneak a peek at Justin Bieber's latest zany adventures. Hilarious. Maddie B's YouTube channel. Meaningful. Or Taylor Swift's manifesto on 18th century lesbian poetry and its influence on the latest Australian elections. Puzzling. These are all clickbait and gossip. They're there to titillate us, make us click on a link, and then make Google a cool $1.35 per click. ka When we follow clickbait, we know we're being naughty. Matty B won't make us more productive. And yet his 4 billion channel views just went to 4 billion and one. But these are minor compared to what's become the worst and most devious of internet distractions. There's too much good content. The real problem happens when a friend sends an article on a new rocket engine that runs on oatmeal. Since you're a rocket scientist, I'll bet you're wondering how I knew that, you click the link and you read a fascinating article on the technology that's going to revolutionize your industry. You'll be able to power a rocket entirely off your Quaker oats, maybe as soon as the year 2028. That article, of course, has a sidebar with the headline, How the New Tax Bill Will Change Your Life. Well, I mean, come on, you've heard about the new tax bill, and it's probably pretty important, and hey, you pay taxes— So you click on that article to read it. 2,000 words later, you have learned that you really need to call your accountant and review your financial situation, which you were planning to do anyway. All of that well-written, interesting content added up to nothing much. These articles are well-written. They're interesting. They're useful. They have links to more well-written, interesting, useful articles. And after you've read dozens of well-written, interesting, useful articles, you know a little bit more about all of the things. And as for the work that you had planned to do for today, well, there just isn't time. You'll have to catch up tomorrow. Any one of these articles is worth reading, but somehow all of that well-written, interesting content added up to nothing much. You took a step forward, a step to the side, a step backwards, and a step to the other side. Lots of movement that left you right back where you started. Today's internet puts too much high-quality content at our fingertips, and we end up overwhelmed and get nowhere. A big thank you to today's sponsor, Pitney Bowes. As the industry leader in mailing and shipping solutions, they have a shipping solution that precisely fits your needs, no matter what you send or how often you send it. You can weigh and print and mail and save. You and your business will save time and money when you print postage. As of January 21st, USPS mailing and shipping costs have gone up, but you'll save three cents per letter with a Pitney Bowes solution. These discounts are not available at the post office. Whether you're sending a letter or a package, you'll be paying less and saving money if you're using a Pitney Bowes sending solution. Plans start at just $5 a month, and for our listeners, Pitney Bowes is offering a free trial so you're sure to find the solution that's right for you and your business. Visit pb.com slash done to learn more and try it free. Terms do apply. See the site for details. That's pb.com slash done. And we thank them for sponsoring this podcast, pb.com slash done. Seek out information, don't respond to it. Before the internet, good information was rare. When it crossed our paths, we would read it, and we learned things. Now the good information is everywhere. We need to be deliberate. No more reading whatever crosses your path, even if it's well-written and interesting. Filter out anything that doesn't help move you in the direction that you want to go. And seek out anything that does. Keep your focus on a sticky note. Decide what progress you want to make in your work and life. If you're an entrepreneur, for example, hoping to cash in on the growing demand for toenail fungus scrapers, you may decide that putting together your e-commerce website is where you want to make progress. So write that down on a sticky note and put it on your screen where you can't miss it. Now, 
browse the web. When you see the article, How to Build an E-Commerce Site in 5 Minutes or Less, glance at your sticky note. Ask yourself, will this link help me build an e-commerce site? The answer is yes. Read the article and keep cranking. Rehearse this. Look at some relevant links and train yourself to look at the link, match it against your sticky note, and move forward. Also rehearse rejecting things that are irrelevant. So look at a link featuring details of a new fertilizer. It isn't made from toenail fungus, so as fascinating as it is, your sticky note tells you to send it to your read later list. Rehearse this on real, interesting, well-written articles that just don't fit your focus. But I don't have a read later list, you cry. Never fear, just create a folder called read later on your browser's bookmarks bar. If you use Safari on the Mac, you can even just use Safari's built-in reading list. And anything that looks good, but isn't relevant to your immediate focus goal, you just put it in your Read Later Bookmarks folder. With your sticky note and your Read Later folder in place, you'll be reading only things immediately relevant to your goals. But what if one of the things in your reading list might have opened you up to something amazing, something that you would never have even considered before? Like, like, I, like, uh, learning that perfume is made from whale puke. Who knew? Well, okay, Coco Chanel, actually, but I'm not sure I want to know how she figured it out. So, from time to time, set aside time to browse your reading list and check out a few articles. And again, be deliberate. You still have focus during these sessions. Your focus is just to broaden your horizons by reading well-written, interesting articles in new areas. So use a timer to limit these sessions to an hour or two a week. These are sessions where you might discover your very own version of Coco Chanel's whale vomit. Resist the Internet's endless supply of good content. Choose your reading material with deliberation. Keep your goal in front of you at all times and rehearse using it as a filter for deciding what to do next. Put everything else in a read later list and only read those things when you decide to do so. Most of your read later list, by the way, will remain unread. But don't fret, that's the whole point. You'll be using your reading time to read only things that move your life and your business forward. You'll make real progress on what's most important to you, and soon your life will come up smelling like roses. Or toenail fungus but definitely not whale puke. I'm Steve Robbins. Follow Get It Done Guy on Twitter and Facebook. And if you want great keynote speeches on productivity, living an extraordinary life, or entrepreneurship, and you know you do, hire me. Find me at steverrobbins.com or join my personal mailing list by texting Get It Done to 33444. You'll also get a free copy of my secret book chapter on how to build relationships that help you succeed. Work less, do more, and have a great life.